Why did, why did I want to go uh, on the Poland experience? I decided to go on the Poland trip because I thought it was really important for me to connect to my Jewish identity. To go to Poland is like a fundamental part of Jewish life. It's such a crucial part of Jewish history and you have to see the things firsthand to properly empathise with them. Everyone talks about it but I didn't feel that connected until I actually experienced it. It is actually an emotional rollercoaster. Whilst there were those poignant times in Auschwitz and in Maidenic when you really, really feel just upset. There were times when you're kind of celebrating the fact that we're here, that we've triumphed. It's a very emotional trip, but at the same time you are learning a lot and it's important to try and balance that information as well. We went to visit the grave of a really important rabbi who was in Poland long before the Holocaust. If you think about Poland and Jewish history, people tend to only think of the Holocaust, but it's important to remember that Jews have been there long before the Holocaust and there was such a thriving Jewish community in Poland before the Holocaust. Going to Majdanek was particularly extraordinary because it was the first concentration camp that we went to and it was before Auschwitz. Emotionally there was one moment which really stood out for me so when we went to Majdanek looking in to the gas chamber you could see scratch marks on the, on the walls and that was really poignant for me. When you're driving along the road and you're driving past houses on, the, on a dual carriageway or a motorway and suddenly you see this concentration camp amongst these houses it's just, it's so extraordinary and so, so surreal. We went to the train carriages that led the children to Auschwitz and Birkenau and we were all standing in the train carriages and just the feeling of togetherness in the train carriage when we were all together in one big circle was absolutely incredible and for me that stood out because I feel like everyone came together and everyone was comforting each other. I think there's definitely a spiritual connection there that maybe if, if I hadn't have been with a Jewish group that I wouldn't, I wouldn't have gained. And definitely the kind of communal spirit during Shabbat in Krakow was definitely something that I'll never forget. Just have such an amazing Shabbat with everyone together. Just with everybody bonding and everybody singing and just trying to make themselves heard. It's a human tragedy and I think it will affect any person who goes Jewish or not. But at the same time being Jewish you feel a more special connection because these, these are Jews too. And yet you can't help but think, how, what would I do in that situation? Because that could have been me. I think it's impossible not to be affected by it. When I returned, I felt like I had to appreciate my family much more. So you just hear about all the families that got torn apart. And when you come back, you feel so much more connected. I'm now, if I go out, I will be proud to be a Jew after this trip. I'm proud of who I am. I know my heritage. I went on tour during the summer. And tour, you're looking at Israel, and that's a huge part of Jewish history, but it's history happening now. You've got tour, you've got a tour, you've got love, you know, this is different. Poland is something else. And you've got to remember the history that's already happened. You've got to understand that the Jewish story is a long one. It's easy to forget that, you know, 70 years ago, there wasn't a Jewish homeland. And these people who were persecuted by the Nazis, they had nowhere to go, they had nowhere to turn. You'll never have an opportunity like this again. Every person should apply to this trip. I'm surprised it's not actually compulsory. I definitely recommend going to Poland. <laughs>